Hi, I'm Tim, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Breville Smart Pro Grinder. Now, I've tried a lot of grinders in my time, and I think this one is fantastic. It's quality made. This grinder has more features than you can poke a stick at. Right here, it has over 60 different grind settings. That's 60. So you can go right up, you can see here, to the 60th, it's got, goes anything from espresso, really fine espresso, all the way up to a plunger, coffee, and anything in between. And the best thing about it is it remembers it too. You've got this start and pause for your grinder, so you can start it up like this and pause it, and you can see where it's, it blinks on the grind time whilst it waits. And obviously it's pulsating here with the uh, light. It also comes with two portafilter cradles. One is 50 to 54 mil, which is perfect size for the uh, Breville range. And also if you have a larger portafilter, depending on what espresso machine you have, this one, it goes up to 58. One really cool feature is this Dose IQ. So it's got this magnet on the back of the portafilter cradles, like so. So whatever setting you've got to, when you go and slide this in, and it's super easy, and it just magnet, magnetizes in. And you can see when you take it off, it changes the time or the setting depending on what you had it before for the grind time. Now you've got adjustable grind time here, and it goes down to 0.2 of a second. You can see here where I'm changing this, it just changes at 0.2 of a second per time. So it's very, very precise as to how much dosage you want from your grind. Also, it will know if you're going cups to shots here, you can change this from how many, uh, like a single shot or a double shot. One great feature about this grinder is it has this huge hopper. It's an 18 ounce hopper. So you can see inside, you can fit a lot of beans in here, probably about uh, 300 to 500 grams. I wouldn't recommend putting all your beans in here at once, even though the top has a nice rubber uh, seal on it, like so. I personally prefer to use as many beans as I need and keep the beans sealed within the original bag. When cleaning, you can also take out the tray, like so, and throw it throughout the waste grinds, and also magnetizes in. Now underneath, everything you need for care and cleaning. Also has the customer care numbers for New Zealand and Australia, depending on where you are in the world. I'm sure that it'll have the local number there. If not, you can look online. Um, so it tells you how to remove all the, uh, the upper hopper as well as the grinders there in order to be able to clean it. And you've got this little brush here, which you can also use. So when removing the grinder, let's take it off like so. You will see the top here it says turn to lock. So to unlock like so and then just lift it out. You can see all the, the beans that I've still got in there at the moment. Okay, now this won't work while this is off, which is great, it's a little feature. You can take it out like so, and you, know, you can twist and pull out the basket to get all the, the, the um, beans out. So let's see how it grinds now. So I'll slot in the thing. One really good feature is this uh, hot button. So you can just turn it on like so and turn it off just to get that little dosage on top for your grinds. Now, this is just at the espresso grind. It looks fairly close to being espresso for me and you can always make adjustments to the grind as needed um, to make it finer. And also if you're doing plunger based or filter based coffees, we can just uh, turn to a coarser grind and we can see across the top here as well where coming down to the plunger We'll do it about here. You can put in the container like so, which comes with it. And you can also just hit the start stop button. Like so. Right. so there we go. You can see that just now. Lock that up. It has a little, you can insert a hole. So you can open that and you can also just put that in like that too. And turn it on and off to get everything in. And it has, a, and with the magnet, it locks it in as well. And if you found this review helpful, please check out the link below where you can purchase one of these. And if you decide to buy through the link, 
you'll be helping support the channel. If you'd like to see more videos from myself and Coffee Geek, please hit the like and subscribe button with the bell below and you'll get up to date with the latest videos.